Hi, I'm Mel and I'm Double Pisces Tarot. Today I'm doing a reading for The Collective. So just a quick reading for The Collective. Let's see what the energy is today or what Divine and the Spirits would like you to be aware of. Messages for Collective. So whoever's watching this reading, this is for you. This is a timeless reading. So whenever you watch the video is when you're supposed to be receiving these messages. What else does Collective need to know? So you have the Fool, Aries Aquarius energy, someone taking a leap of faith. The Fool is card zero. No, the first card of the tarot deck, the start of a new cycle. You've got the Ten of Cups. Could be taking a leap of faith towards a relationship, towards a commitment, towards a person. It could be something that's same sex. Take what resonates for you, collective. This is... Tarot has no gender anyway. And then you've got the Knight of Wands. So action being taken forwards, movement forwards. A lot of passion after there could have been a conflict in the past. You are completing a cycle here, collective. We will grab out clarifiers for these. You've got the Queen of Pentacles. So Earth Energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus sitting there. You could be a parent. You could be a mother. You could be focused on the material world. Let's grab out some clarifiers for these cards, though, and see what you need to be aware of. What's the fool for collective? You have the King of Swords. So King of Swords, Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone that does not show emotion, very logic thinker, does not make decisions based on emotion either. You've got the Ten of Wands. I'll just grab out all the clarifiers, collective, and the moon. Okay, so I feel like this is you, collective. I feel like you are the fool. You're starting a new journey. Aries, Aquarius energy could be significant, but this new journey is starting with logic, okay? This isn't starting with emotion. This is moving forwards with logic. So taking a leap of faith following the call that divine's giving you to start some type of new journey with this new journey though the thing is you carry a lot of wands with you you got the ten of wands coming out in the moon so you could be hopping out of your emotions with something using logic to move forwards but as you move forward you still have a lot that you're carrying so you could be doing a lot at the moment, uh, leaving something behind that is emotional. So whether this be <clears throat> a relationship or a friend or a family member or something, someone, something that gives you emotions, you are leaving behind, you know, and having a completion of a cycle. So the world, Capricorn energy could be significant. You've also got Pisces Cancer energy here with the moon coming out. But as I said, you are hopping out of those emotions and moving forwards on the path you're supposed to be following. You are listening to, to Divine's call. And, you know, that is deep within yourself. Okay, let's keep going. So you're moving towards your happiness. You're moving towards feeling comfortable, no stress, being able to rely on somebody. So what's the Ten of Cups? You've got the Knight of Pentacles. So there's going to be slow movement to this, but you will get there. You've got the Two of Cups. So you're starting a new journey and walking into a new commitment or a new union with somebody else. You could be leaving a situation and moving into something new. It could be with an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This could also be someone from your past. This could be someone you walked away from, someone that you gave a lot to. You've got the Eight of Cups there. 
there's like this turn around because you've got the Knight of Pentacles. So this could be someone that comes in and out of your life. This is someone that wants to be reliable, someone that doesn't really want to leave, even though there could have been a completion of a cycle with this person, okay? You've got the penguins. I'm sure penguins find a mate for life. As I said, this could be same sex. But you've got two people on the Ten of Cups, and then you've got the Two of Cups there. So it's like, this is their happiness, this is your happiness, okay? Even though you could have left the situation in the past, this person's wanting to show you reliability by coming back. But this situation leaves you in your head because of all the conflict, leaves you anxious, having nightmares. But this person wants to come back. Okay? So you could have left that situation and then it's like coming around full circle again. This could have been someone you were in a relationship with before, were married to before. Someone you know... You know, they're so comfortable. What's the Knight of Wands here for Collective? What's the Knight of Wands? You have the Six of Pentacles. So the Knight of Wands is action forwards. You know, passionate action after... A distractive past you can see there. Something that you can still feel. You know, the volcano is still erupting. And you are in that Nine of Swords energy collective being in your head. You've got the Wheel of Fortune. So, yes, this cycle is going to start again. Whether it be another lesson or not, but I feel like this person does want to give equal. I feel like they want to build like this happy home kind of thing. I feel like you're both agreeing to this passionate start. You're both going to take action towards this. What is the Knight of Wands? And the King of Pentacles. So this could be with an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, but there's something about stability. This person could be the father of your children. It doesn't have to be. The king of pentacles is a father. Um, this is someone that could be a boss or a leader also, but they're trying to bring in stability. You know, they want this happy home kind of thing. So do expect to hear from this person again if you haven't yet collective. Uh, this person does want to show you reliability which is really coming out, um, this <clears throat> never giving up on the situation is really coming out. You've got the Queen of Swords on the back of the deck, so this could be an X. You do have Air here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You did have the King of Swords there, and you were coming out as the King of Swords, and this is a divine counterpart, okay? So this is, this is your pair. This is someone that I feel may have transformed a bit there's transformation here someone that's been through a lot in the past but this person chooses you okay let's grab some tea while we're at it i want to see what's going on what you need to know we'll just grab two cards what you don't see collective what does collective need to know with the tea two cards Queen rising. So you could be this queen rising, stepping into power, praised, coming up in the spotlight. There's some type of burdens that you hold. You know, they don't have to actually be burdens. There's these ones that you hold while you go into this new cycle in your life. Okay, you could be doing a lot at the moment, but this is bringing you up. This is rising you to the top, okay? There's something about manifestation here also. 
what else does the collective need to know? Reflecting. So I feel like you both are reflecting at the moment about this situation. Uh, this person is reflecting because that's a masculine energy there and you're like the feminine energy there. So I feel like you're focusing on yourself. Tarot has no gender, but I feel like this person's connecting inside of themselves. Like they're going deep within for the answers and the answers are that they want to come in and bring in that solid foundation you know they want to bring in everything that you're giving okay you've got obsessive lover on the back of the deck so as i said you got dangerous toxicity unhealthy possession of karmic okay so there's lessons that you learn that you and this person both learn from each other you do have the wheel of fortune coming out so karmic lessons that are being learned as these cycles go around you may both be a little bit obsessed about each other. Uh, there could be some type of tie that you guys have um, to one another. Uh, but this person, I feel, is a lot obsessed with you. And I feel like they choose you. As I said, they they choose you. Okay. So, Collective, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all for coming to my reading. If this is your first time, welcome. Just remember, all my readings are timeless. So, if you ever want to check out my channel, I do have a Collective playlist. I also have a playlist for the Zodiac signs. So, check them out. I am also doing personal readings. So, if you'd like a personal reading from me, check out the link in the description below. I love you all so much. Have a great day or night wherever you are, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.